Hello, welcome back. Last time I used letters to turn words into other words and then played a game of letters with um, with a couple of symbols. Where was that? I did this too. I did that too. This is the one. So I came to a realize, realization uh, here after recording. The background pattern on these, the density of it actually indicates the point value. So it gets denser and denser as each one of um, each one of these uh, increases in point value. So that's another way to sort of visually judge what the uh, what the value of each thing is. So that's those are all the all the values it tells you after that. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Anyway, <laughs> so account for yourself. What is that? That's something I. Can I do this now? You numbers should be ashamed of yourselves. What if it was you that fell down that hole? But it wasn't us, it was her. Anyway, we should stay here where it's safe. Something else might go wrong. <laughs> Something else went wrong. Okay, I can do this now. Repair the spreadsheet. Each row can be fixed in three moves. It is important to know which boxes affect other boxes. Right, okay, so there are a couple of puzzles that are like this. Each row can be fixed in three moves, so I should learn which does what. Okay, so. So it's... That does everything. But then... Wait, what? What am I seeing? Which boxes affect which other boxes? Will this make sense if I do it for a little while? Okay, so that was what? DFC? I can't reset. Okay, if I reset, it just stays. I didn't understand what I did there. Alright, so clicking the longest one. Yeah, that time it only affected one. So that does everything. Okay, there's some pattern to this. So this is like one step away from the number. This is two steps away. This is three steps away is what I think I'm seeing here. They affect different things based on stuff. All right, so it seems sensible to start with that. That's not too bad. Okay, so that's just E-E-E. -E -E. Obviously there's some logic to this, but working it out is kinda non-trivial. Okay, that was good. I want that move again. If I do F, F, is there something else that affects F? Yes, okay, so maybe D, F, F? D, F, F, okay. Uh, I might be starting to understand this a little bit. So it does change when the, the value of the cell changes. Why? Okay, that seemed good. That seemed good. Almost. So G, D, G? Okay. Okay, what a weird puzzle. So that was E, C, D. Okay, lucky guess. <laughs> Not quite. There we go. <laughs> that is really hard to follow what's going on. In fact, I did not follow what was going on at all. <laughs> Whatever, I solved it, I guess. Whoa, that was a close one. Don't panic, it's just another power surge. Who's panicking? Well, there goes all your decimal points. This is going to be important. But it's not yet. <laughs> Select another scene. Okay, so that's account for yourself. Actually done. Meltdown. Okay. 
der Vowels. Ah, a vowel. Not a, a. And not a vowel, the vowel. Sorry, it was just an exclamation. But it is very important that I talk to you. Well, he's not here right now. <laughs> it's one of these. Well, actually, I meant the word you, not the letter you. Don't lecture me about words and letters. Without us vowels, there'd be no words at all. All right, so the way this works, a common proverb is missing its vowels. To fix it, type in the entire correct phrase. This one goes on for a while. I learned a lot of sayings uh, doing this. Oh, okay. So clicking skips to the next one. Misery acquaints one with strange bedfellows. <laughs> Does the A say anything? Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. What? So curiosity. City. Kill the cat. So basically, you just have to type in the entire sentence, filling in the vowels um, as you go. You can brute force this. Like, incorrect inputs will just be erased. Um, so you will eventually win this. Just knowing what to type helps a lot. So I'm just going to be typing for a while here. So you can see that, um, so I just learned something about that phrase. Uh, <laughs> I usually used to misinterpret it. A friend in need is a friend indeed means that when you are in need, someone who is your friend is your friend. <laughs> Basically, it's phrased confusingly. Also, as you saw in that last one, uh, words that contain only vowels won't even show up here. Spacebar doesn't actually matter. Uh, you can just type the letters. But it feels weird to do that. Uh, what does this say? I don't recognize this. Does it start with M? It does. And this is where I just hammer on the keyboard. What? Oh, okay, got it. So this is very forgiving. If you get stuck, just press keys and it'll make sense eventually. Let's see how quick I can get through this. So missing a key is a little bit more of a punishment than you might think because it, it kind of seizes control for a moment and throws off your typing rhythm. <laughs> uh, was not built in a day. And look before, before you leap. A few of these puzzles, this one included, go on for just a little bit longer than I'd like them to. I would have put... Um, what was it called? The first one I did, yeah, I would have put for letter or worse in that category too. Just a few too many examples of the puzzle. Uh, this, what does this mean? Like I recognize the words. But I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Is it like you have to get your paws dirty to get something done or something? It is interesting to see words like squeaky, just how much they compact down when you remove the vowels. <laughs> Nothing succeeds. Well, that seems tautological. What's the point of that? Uh, to, to err is human. Uh, 
two heads are better than one. Better safe than sorry. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Because <laughs> the doctor's a terrible villain you don't want to see. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Wrongs, wrongs, a stitch in time saves nine. Beauty, that's another one of those words that just disappears without vowels. Blood is thicker than water. I remember when I was a kid doing this puzzle, I had to ask my family a lot of questions about what all these meant. <laughs> I still don't understand all of them. Never the rose without the thorn. Familiarity already breeds contempt. Uh, uh, uh. Out of sight, out of mind. One good turn? One good turn deserves another what? Okay, that's one I don't understand. <laughs> uh, Wurzelf. What? Variety is the spice of life. Waste not, want not. So if I click, I can skip and sort of see how many are left. Okay, not that many. I'm almost done. Let's just go back to the first one. Beggars can't be choosers. So there's like seven or eight left or something. Not if it goes into orbit. Come on now. If the shoe fits, wear it. Actions speak louder than words. Isn't that the name of a puzzle I just did? <laughs> Charity begins at home. Okay, am I done? Almost. I think this is the last one. No, not quite. It just keeps going. Okay, finally. And as you know, only the A can form a one letter word. Hey, what about I? What about you? Someone call me? Oh, be quiet. I didn't say anything. Why did you answer then? I didn't answer then. Fine. Now who's still missing? That's easy. Uh, this meeting is for members only. But we're engaged. Well, disengage. We have company. <laughs> so how can we be of assistance? Hmm? Oh, yes. Well, it's like this. How rude. <laughs> uh, she just can't get help anywhere. Another clue. Ore-ish. Oh, and another of these. 
Ah, more letters. I guess these can't talk. Perhaps if I help unscramble them? I'm really not trained for this sort of thing. I don't think there's too many more of this kind of puzzle. Um, all right, how's this one work? So this rotates like this. That rotates like that. So very similar to the... Oh, that's interesting. I get both of those. Alright, anyway. Um, this one does not come with any clues. But the name is a hint. And... You can also just sort of look at the letters and sort of judge what they might be. Okay, so... Um, let's make this... Oops. R E D. So red, and then let's see. What's the best way to do this? R E D. I'll move you down there. Move you over. Get this E down he here. Swap it for the B. Okay, red, B. Um, yeah, so this should actually be simple. I can just move this down, move this over, move this up. Move this down. Move this down. Move this over. Uh, okay, red, blue, erring. Uh, so you just need to swap a couple of those. I can take advantage of the fact that these are E's and do something like that. And this, and this, and I think I'm done. Almost. There we go. So do any of you know the way back to the spreadsheet? Vermilion, indigo, verdant. Yes, very good, but crimson, azure, emerald. No, but I really... Maroon, cerulean, lime. I need directions, not a thesaurus. pra <laughs> More clues. Oh, boy, it's the first one of these. <laughs> uh, right, I think what happened in um, Dove Owls sort of leads into this part of the story here. This will make more sense later. What odd-looking letters. To clear out the batch, select three that match. And if you pause by clicking on a menu or asking the three for a commentary, could everyone stand still for a minute? Everything scrambles. So if I click one... Then two, then I have to find one that matches. This is another puzzle that goes on for a little bit longer, and this is the shortest and easiest version of this one. Fortunately, it gets quicker as it goes on. I cannot see who matches that. It's got to be here somewhere. Though they teleport around so they can move. It's not you. You're, you have too much of a thing. There we go. All right, so how about... Uh, here. Let's do the more obvious-looking ones first. I think... That'll help clear out the board and make it quicker to see the less obvious ones. So you should stand out. You do, eventually. Okay, uh, it's like that, but not quite that. There we go. Now, as this clears out, there are fewer, um, fewer, fewer letters, so the random teleporting gets kind of out of hand. Okay, A with a very low... Hey, what? Why'd that happen? That just sort of happened on its own. Does that just do that occasionally? If I sit there for too long and don't click one or something? I don't know. Where's the other... There it is. Okay. Uh, wow, you have a lot of pieces taken out of you. How about this one? That's pretty distinctive. Uh, somewhere. Somewhere. 
somewhere, maybe, not you, not you, A, <laughs> there it is, okay, that's an A, that's also kind of an A, and I see a second one, it makes that noise if I click there, <laughs> for some reason, all right, that's a proper A, let's leave that one for last. Okay, so lower left, like that. Where's the last one? That's facing the wrong way. Boy, this is not going to be fun to watch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's just how LPing a game like this is going to go sometimes. All right, that's the actual A. Okay, so the P. Hey, what? I clicked. It must have teleported right when I clicked. Uh, all right, fine. I'll do another one. I see two of those. I see two of these. No, I see this. Okay. Cool. Left notch. Why did I change? Uh, those are different. Barely. Oh, right. There's sort of a cheat here. You can... <laughs> it makes a terrible noise, but if you do that, you can get them to kind of pause for a moment. I remember having to take advantage of that when I was younger. See, that one changed right as I clicked it. Also, you can notice that they are teleporting much more frequently now. You get out of here. You look like that. A with a notch out of the top, okay? That thing, that thing. Almost done. Prepare to hear that noise a bunch as I click around for these last couple. Right, this is the point where this this actually becomes important. There we go. <laughs> Quick, we have to warn the others. That power surge is causing far greater damage than any of us ever suspected. You warn the others. I have problems of my own. Oh boy, roaming numerals. I talked about this one last time. Ah, here's where they keep the relics. Hey, you old timers know the way back to the spreadsheet? Yeah, they're numbers. She's in good company. The spreadsheet? We can't even remember our correct order. You've forgotten how to count? No, no, we remember that. We do? Our correct order is a bit more complicated, I'm afraid. Right, so... Uh, show next false, show next true, forward, reverse, rearrange the numerals into their proper order. To do this, all the false statements must be changed into true statements. To make a move, select two numerals and they will swap positions. So this is a miniature version of the letter legislature. Uh, got a few more letters here. This is going to be a big one of those. So back to roaming numerals. So... Uh, I, uh, wow, I, yeah, that's, that's how you read that. Three, six, ten, in the same row. So basically, this shows you a whole bunch of constraints, and you have to make sure that they all evaluate to true. Those in the same row, row false. So sure, it's easy enough to get a few trues. Uh-huh, yeah, same one, yeah. Uh, to five touches east side of thirteen. So we need that, but you can see how this is going to get, which is only one other box. Okay, so 14 needs to be here, 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 or here. How about here? Uh, so what I need to do is command F, show next false. That's just west side. Okay, so you, three of you needed to be in the same row. Can I do something like this? Yeah, okay. So that shouldn't have invalidated the whatever constraint it was. Uh, just south side of that, okay. What were the what were the the three in the in the top row I needed to keep there? Okay, cool. So I can swap these. Great. So that should satisfy that constraint I was just looking at. Uh ten touches east side of oh. Okay, so what this mean wait. Okay. So interesting. So I can combine a couple of constraints. Hang on. Um, tell me one more time about this row. 
So these three must be in the same row. This one and this one have to touch. It was 10 touches east side of 14, right? So you have to be to the left of this. That means there is a row which is in this arrangement. However, I just broke a constraint with these two. Um, so there is a row that's either the two possibilities are this or this. So it's, it's one of those two because you have to be by yourself and you have to be in the same row and you have to be next to this. Okay, so I know that for sure either this row is like that or this row is like that. Okay, that's useful information. All right, um, let me do here. Let's use this strategy. Let's evaluate constraints. Okay, so this tells me that it's definitely this. Let's evaluate constraints that involve these four. Um, so that's satisfied that way. It could also be this. It could also be this. So tell me about 10 and 15. Is there anything else that affects those? Okay, so 10, those have to be in the same column. So that means it's going to be this. Okay, cool. So this row is locked in place. It has to be exactly like this. Uh, well, that's not true. This is locked in place. These three have to be in this row. This column is locked because this had to be in that position for that. Well, that's also not true. These two can swap. And this column could move here or here. Okay. So tell me about this column. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. Touches east side of that. Okay, that sounds valid. So you have to be there. In the same row, that doesn't break anything. In the same row, I th think this doesn't break anything. Oh, yes it does. You need to move there and you need to move there. Okay, plausible. Touch his west side. Uh... So if I'm doing this, I have to also do that. Or something. It says south side. Okay, I can believe that. All right, so now that that's, ah, okay, okay. So here's a useful constraint. These have to be in the same row. This, oh wait, this is the same thing I was looking at before. Okay, so I have to do something like that. I've lost track. But I think I can know for sure this goes definitely here, this goes definitely here. So 10 and 14 don't ever move. These two could swap. Um, okay. Oh! Well, that's the solution. Cool. <laughs> All right. Yes, this will do nicely. How could we have forgotten? It's as easy as OTT. You mean easy as 1, 2, 3. No, of course. Well, don't keep, don't, don't let us keep you. And thanks again. No problem. Young whippersnapper. She didn't ask for more directions. Oh boy, another of these. <laughs> Curious how that power surge could do this to the vowels and yet leave me unaffected. As I recall, this is a very long chain of events here. So I guess I'll do this and then take a break because this goes on to, let's see, where does this go? So I did Dove Owls. Take your pick. Roaming numerals. Pick up the pieces. Pick a fight is another one of those. Pick on you. Pick up the tab. Okay, well, let's see where this leads. Can everyone just stand still? All right, so Misfit E. Let's do the one that looks like a B. Uh... Slow start. Uh, I don't see... <laughs> so at the very beginning, I can't do the... Whoa. Yeah, that just happens at random, I think. It wasn't... That wasn't because of any action I took. Uh, all right, fine. I'll just do this E. That stands out reasonably well. This one. I got those two already. Uh... Where might the other one be? It's not that, it's this. Okay, now let's do this. Somewhere, maybe, somehow. 
Okay, let's not do that. If I spot any two that match, I can abandon just a, a single. Uh, that seems like it makes sense. Okay, so this looks like an H. There it is. Yeah, there's no reason to click on one until I can see two that match. Oh, that's a slightly longer tail on the on the F thing. Uh, so what do you match? This? That. Okay, so it's like a C with a high gap in it, kinda. That. Like the low gap. There it is. Okay, so F with a long nose. Uh, there it is. Oh, you changed when I clicked you. All right, let's do the at sign. Done. Six. E can look like a lot of different things. Okay, H with the tails on both top and bottom. Or this. There are two of those. Wait, no, those are different. <laughs> okay, so... So like this. Uh, I see all three of those. Okay, so back to where I was. Uh, that's just a B. Okay, well, I see two of those. And it should be more distinctive. Cool. Okay. Uh, I see two of these. Oh, wait, that was different. And the one I had locked in went away. Th those are different? Wait, how? Oh, this notch here. <laughs> Boy, that's hard to see. So guess which vowel is the nastiest one of these? Hint. It's the one that lets the largest number be packed into a small space. You're different. Where are you? That's not it. That's it. Uh, no, that's not. That's what this is. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Uh, where do you exist? Vertically symmetric, so should stand out, kinda. There, uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Ugh. Ugh. These are all looking weird. Okay, so the G. G is there. Lowercase e. <laughs> Lowercase e. There you are. Okay, so e with an extra thing on top. Extra thing on top. There you are. Uh, looks like that. Don't know how to describe that. I see three of the same, so I'm going to abandon... Oh, shoot. I lost them. Man. Well, that's the risk I run. Okay, getting close. Uh, wait, those are different? Oh, yeah. Okay, pay attention to the tails on the bottom. All right, where's your match? It's not that. It's moving around a lot. There it is. So the other one with the tail. It's going to be somewhere. Okay. Almost done. Oh boy, I've left these... Ah, oh, my last two look very similar. You, you, and you. There we go. <laughs> Are you alright? Did I say, are you alright? Must be a silent E. <laughs> so a few different things are chasing me at this point. Half a mind. Oh, it's another of these. Do I have to fix everything around here? Okay, anyway, so uh, that leads on to half a mind, and I think a whole bunch of other places, like this is a long, a puzzle compounded may leave you dumbfounded. That should sound familiar. <laughs> uh, the other one was what, half a notion? Yeah, we did that already. Um, anyway, so next time, half a mind, and wherever else this leads. Uh, yeah, like the, the end of this chain of events, I think will 
take the rest of another video probably. All right, I'll see you then for that.